YouTube, YouTube, all in hand. Today's video, I am going to show you how to get Kodi 18.1 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod with no jailbreak and no computer needed whatsoever. So it will be using Tutu. Tutu have had these Kodi's signed. You might have seen my old video, um, which is Kodi 16. And because they've had them signed, you need Tutu somewhere on your device in order for them to open and run. Quite clever of Tutu, I suppose, but fair in a way. If they've had them signed and other people are stealing them and you can get them from other places, it's only fair that they make you download their app. Anyway, straight to it. If you haven't got Tutu, link in the description on video on how to get Tutu and the link in the description straight where to get Tutu from. It is the free version. It will say $12.99, but just tap on regular in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to download the free one. If you're opening a link in YouTube, just remember to tap your Safari icon somewhere on your device and open up in Safari so everything will work fine. So we open up Tutu, hit search at the top and then you just tap on the search bar again and just get rid of your advert. We search Kodi, search, and as you can see, there's now two options with 18.1 there. So we hit get on 18.1, let it download onto the device. And once it's downloaded, you should get an instant pop-up. There we go. Hit install and then tap your home button. If you get install again, just press cancel. You don't need to press install again. And it shall now install on our device. So I'm just gonna to tap to open mine and show you how to change the skin. But if, when you tap on yours, cause I've already got my other Kodi and Tutu and a few other things on here, mine's already trusted. But if you get untrusted developer, you all know the score. Over to settings, general, down to device and profile management. And you find the developer in there, you hit the blue right to trust, and then you hit the pop-up trust again, and then Kodi will open. But I'm just gonna open mine now. So once opened, you get this notification. This app will not work with future versions of iOS. The developer of this app needs to update to improve this capability. That's fine, so just tap OK. And as you can see, this is 18.1. So hit OK. And if you're familiar with 18.1, that's fine. You can leave it like this, not a problem. Otherwise, if you'd like the Confluence look, which is the more classic look that everyone knows, in the top left-hand corner, just hit the cog for settings. Then we go to system, then just go down to add-ons and we tap unknown sources, you get a warning, hit yes, that just allows any unknown sources to be installed, then go back, then interface, then under skin, you'll see skin inside of skin, um, now we want to hit get more here, so you go to get more, and we go down to the one that everybody knows, there it is. Confluence, so tap on that, and it should download this. Downloading, installing, job done. Hit yes, and now you can hit home, and there you go, we're back to Kodi, as everybody knows. If there's any particular add-ons that you'd like to install, just drop me a comment, and if there's a most requested, I will make a video and show you how to put them add-ons on or maybe a build. I do have my other video for Kodi 16 which shows you how to put the Fire Stick Plus Man build on which has got Exodus and Sports Devil and Movies For You and all the different add-ons on there so if you'd like to go and watch that one if you want some add-ons for now that will work absolutely fine. Otherwise leave me a thumbs up and remember if you haven't subscribed yet you must be. Crazy mother.